feeling of being depressed or feeling blue or not really feeling it today, whatever it may be, that's not an uncommon feeling. That happens. Life changes, things happen, uh, situations happen. It just it just happens, okay? But how you navigate it is what's what's really important. How you kind of see through that to push yourself through instead of getting stuck in a rut is what's very important. Welcome to Driving and Vibing. Thank you for joining me in that passenger seat. I hope you're learning stuff from all these videos. I post them millions of times. Anyway, enough about enough about anything else. What's the vibe today? Today, I wanna to talk about, uh, I just kinda of started a series, it's a emotional intelligence series, and I just talked about stress. If you haven't seen that one, part one, stress, managing stress, go look at that video, but I wanna talk about depression this time. Uh, feeling down, um, you know, like the feeling of feeling blue. Now, this is not an uncommon, this is not an uncommon um, emotion. There are people who go through life who never, who don't see or feel this emotion very often. But primarily, these are very optimistic people, people who have a very high positive outlook on life. They don't get that feeling of depression or feeling of blue as often as some other people might. Um, and I, I feel like this is very important. This is something that should be talked about. Now, uh, we're gonna go into a story time. In the past, I've said this before as well. In the past, I used to think the world was out to get me. I was in a depressed state 90% uh, of my days, every day. And all I could see is the negatives. I, I, there was no positives in my life. I couldn't even see any if there were. And you know, every, everything was working against me. And right there, exactly what I just said is what I wanna talk about seeing only the negatives perception is huge if you can only see listen negativity will blind you it'll put shaders on you you won't be able to see anything else but the negative negativity that goes on so if you have if you go if you open up your day with a negative mindset like oh today's not really going to be a good day that's the that your mind is so powerful that's what it's going to see it's going to see a not very good day so even if something good happens it's going to pick out the awful things about that even if there's nothing awful about it an example would be you finishing a project at work or at school and you you doing you know you fully finishing it you you don't have to like you you beat the timeline whatever it may be but all you see is that maybe all you see is that um, you didn't do as good as you wanted to like you 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 finish it you finished the project it was a big project you should be proud of yourself but maybe there was maybe you just didn't do as much as you wanted to or something like that yeah yeah, there could be a million different examples. You get you get the drift. Like, your mind will focus on the negative, and it will only see the negative. Now, if you if you kind of switch perception, and you utilize some of this positivity, if you start looking at the positives, if you open up your day and say, and you're not feeling it, but you're like, you know what, today's gonna be a good day, even though I'm not feeling it. There's gonna be some good things that happen, and you you try to pick out the positives. Your mindset will shift. When I was stuck in that depressive state. I, I I had this revelation, like it can't just be, I was blaming everything around me, everybody else. It, it could not be everybody else. Everybody else is moving forward. Every, not everybody is as miserable as I am. There's gotta be something here, right? So I started really looking around and it was, it really was like just how I was looking at the world, how I was perceiving the world. The world, it's not out to get me. There are, there's positives in my life. Like I have friends, I have family, right? I had, a, I have, well, I have a job, right? Um, and there's all those pos positives, right? I have, I have food, shelter, this and that. There's a lot of positives that go on. There's a lot of things that, in the day-to-day -day basis, that were positives to me. And I, so I started focusing on those, and I started being more optimistic. Like, oh, I, I'm not feeling it today, but you know what? Maybe today's the day that I get a promotion. Maybe today's the day that I, you know, do this or do that. It's all about perception. I think perception is super, super, super important. And this will not only help with navigating through these emotions, but it will help with just overall health and wellness, your overall well-being. And of course, like all of this carries over to your work, your education, or your game and performance. Let's shift our mindset and try to erase the negativity, obviously. That's a broad statement. You can't really erase negativity. It's gonna happen sometimes, but try to try to be more positive, positive outlooks. If you have anything to add, by all means, let me know in the in the comments. Get this conversation started. I would love that. If you like what you heard in this video, hit that like button. If you want to hear or see more content like this, hit that subscribe button.
And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, dreamers.